What's up everyone? We finally have our metal building video to share with you guys. It's crazy because I started filming for this video nine months ago, but because of COVID delays and supply chain issues, it took us a really long time to get to this point. But we finally have our metal building and it turned out awesome. So as a caveat for this video, I have a time lapse in the middle. And at that point I had just got a new camera and just learning how to use it. And so some of the days I didn't have focus correctly, so I had to delete them. So time lapse isn't truly from start to finish. There are some gaps, but I think you'll get the general idea. But I'm really excited to share with you this video today and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. All right, here we are. It's the beginning of our metal building project. We're very excited. So the first thing that happened was our concrete contractor came out and scraped the building pad. So you can see where the green grass ends and the brown pad begins. They just scraped up the top layer of grass so it's nice and smooth and level. They did that about two weeks ago. And then yesterday they came out and put the form boards in for the outside of the barn. So you can see the, the uh, wooden boards they have right here. They put those out yesterday. And today they came and drilled the holes for the piers. So we have 12 piers going in our barn. We'll have four against this wall back here, four against a wall that's gonna go roughly right here, and then four for the lean two, which is gonna be at the very front. So this is where we're at right now. Things are moving, we're excited. We cannot wait to have our metal building very soon. It's been a few weeks since the last video and we finally have rebar. So we had a little bit of rain delay and then we found out our building is going to take a little bit longer than expected to get delivered here because of COVID delays. So we haven't been in a huge rush to get the rebar down, but it's finally down, which is good. They got it all finished today. So tomorrow they're going to pour concrete, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to be out here in the morning at 6.30 a.m. to film. So it's going to be a big day. So for the concrete, they're going to pour a five inch slab and it's going to be 3,500 PSI concrete. So. It'll be pretty, pretty heavy duty, which will be good for what we need for this barn. So like I mentioned in the other video, we're gonna have 12 columns. This is a column over here in the corner. Here's one of them right here. Then we have four lining the edge of the building, four in the front of the building, and then four in front or where the lean-to is gonna go. So right here, you'll see we have some vertical rebar. And these are called beams. These are two foot by one foot grade beams and that's all the way around the perimeter. Purpose of this frame is so that the building has an outline for the slab and everything in between reinforces the slab. And then the other building that we could have done is a pole barn. And those are typically made of all wood and pole barns don't have this reinforcing beam like we have. It just adds an extra layer of reinforcement, makes it a little bit nicer. So. Um, it'll be good to go when we have the concrete in. Also right here we have, I guess it's a two by two square, and this is called a sheet ledge. This is where the ledge of the metal building is going to sit. And then right next to it, this is going to be the door opening. So you can see where the sheet ledge stops, where the door is gonna open. So we have room for the door to be there. So we're gonna have three large doors um, one right in the front, one in the middle, and the one in the very back. And you can kind of see the outline right here. This room in the front is going to be my new workout room, which I'm super excited about. And we'll have an office as well. And then right here, these are columns for the front of the building. We're actually going to wrap them in stone. It's the same limestone that wraps the columns around our house. And as you can see, the boards jut out a little bit. They're not perfectly square. And that was maybe a design oversight on our part really what we should have done is made sure that the columns go inboard a little bit more so that they would be flush with the side it's a small item and not really that big of a deal but if you're gonna build it again maybe just think about that if you're gonna wrap your columns with stone because if you think about the stones going to jut out a little bit extra when you put the stone around it so that is small oversight it'll be okay though I don't think it'll be too big of a deal well, it's about 6.30 a.m. and it is quite the operation out here. I didn't realize how many people are out here, how much stuff is going on. So I just started pouring concrete, which is exciting. So I'm going to put this thing on time lapse and let y'all see what's going on.
Well, we are finally here. It seems like it took forever to get this point, but we have our building and I think it turned out awesome. So like I said at the beginning of the video, we had a lot of delays due to COVID. We ordered the building in January of 21. We poured the slab in April of 21, and then we finally received our building at the end of September 2021. So it was a really long process. I think we were expecting to have the whole building process done in about three months, and instead it took a little over nine months. So hopefully that was just because of COVID delays and it's not normally like that. So if you're planning a metal building, hopefully it doesn't take you that long. But let's get started by talking about some of the specs of our building. We'll go out to the lean-to and I'll show you the colors and the sizing of our lean-to area. All right, so here we are in our lean-to area. Let's talk about the colors we chose first. So we picked desert tan for the top and burnished slate for the bottom darker color. We picked these colors because our house is more of the neutral brown tones and we thought this went really well with our house. We wanted to pick something that would blend in with what we already had here. So this worked out really well. I think it turned out great. Central States made the R panel. And let's talk about our doors really quick. So we picked a glass door here for our future workout room slash office. This is a 10 by 8 door and it was made by Best Line. The door is tented and insulated and it's going to be great for what we have. I think it looks awesome here. It definitely has more of like an industrial vibe. I think it looks really, really cool. And then the two larger doors at the end, those are 12 by 14 foot and also insulated as well. All right, I wanna show you guys something that we would have changed if we had gone back and done this over again, is that our metal building company did not provide a trim piece for the door jam here. As you can see, it's just painted in a red oxide primer that comes on the actual metal building. It doesn't look super nice or finished off. And so what we're gonna to have to do is actually go and paint it ourselves, which is a small inconvenience, but it would have been nice if we had that trim piece. So just one thing to think about when you're looking for a metal building provider. Another thing I wanna point out is that our rector did a really great job of filling in some small uh, touches and things that we wanted to look a little bit nicer. So the top there, you'll see where the I-beam meets the sidewall. They custom cut a piece of panel to close the gap and the hole that was there. Otherwise you would have just seen the insulation. And so that was really, great then to have that attention to detail and to make sure those small things were covered so that our building would look really good. Let's talk about the dimensions of our lean-to. So the size of our lean-to here is 15 by 75 feet. Uh, the slope is one on 12 and then we have 12 foot columns all lining down the edge of our lean-to. And I think we're going to use this space as like an extra outdoor space for us since it's all concrete. We can have chairs out here or just use it for anything that's in the shop that you want to take outside. It's just a great little space to have if you want to entertain as well. So I'm really excited to see how we're going to use this space in the future. All right, this is the front of our shop. We're starting some landscape projects here. We haven't quite finished yet, but that's something that's on our to-do list for this upcoming spring. And then in this bag back here, that's actually our electrical service. We took our electric service from our house and brought it underground and took it to the barn. So that's a project that we have. It's a big, big project upcoming that we'll have to get electricity to the barn. So it's already right there. We just have to actually get all wired up and ready to go. So that's a little bit about the outside of our barn. Let's go take a look inside and I'll tell you more about what's on the inside. All right, let's take a look at the inside of our metal building. So first of all, the overall size of the building, of the enclosed building is 40 by 75 feet. And we have 14 foot eaves, which is the height of the wall. The roof slope is four on 12, and the whole building is insulated along with the doors. It was not a whole lot of added expense to do the insulation, and it seems like it's kept the building pretty regulated in terms of temperature. Of course, we haven't been out here when it's been 100 degrees in the middle of summer, but from the days that we have had it, it seems like insulation has worked out really well. So. That's been really nice. I think I would definitely recommend that. So here's the large door we have at the front of our middle building. Like I said before, this door opening is 14 foot by 12 foot, and we currently have it on a chain hoist. You can see it on the left-hand side. Over here, we have our nice glass door, and right now I have this work light. You can see it's on in the corner. Get, get it better so you can see it. This is actually super handy, and really enjoyed using this. We don't have um, electricity yet in the barn. So for now we bought this light from 
Milwaukee, which has been uh, really a game changer. It just has like one of those portable battery packs you can add down here. And then it has three different levels you can use to change the lighting. And this has been really good if we ever need to get something here and it gets darker outside. And um, so that's been very helpful if you ever need extra light. I wanna talk about these doors a little bit more. So you can see these two doors on the end, they have tracks that go up along the ceiling. But this door, the glass door we have, just has the tracks that go up to about eight feet tall. And the reason we didn't put this on the ceiling like these other two doors is because we're gonna build up this, build out this space. So we want to make sure that the tracks are gonna be below where we have the roof of our build out. So that's why these tracks are a little bit lower. So it's kind of hard to see right now, but basically we're going to build this out with, we're gonna add drywall in this, this little area right here and make this a nice room for a workout room and a space where we'll probably have a desk there at the back. I think we're gonna film this. Hopefully we'll get started on this in the next maybe month or two and we'll be filming this soon so you guys can see all of our progress building out our gym. So I'm super excited about that. All right, well, that's our metal building for you. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.